Hey everyone, bonjour, it's me Jess and I'm an opera singer. So today's video is by Laura Fabian and Johnny Halliday. This is Requiem pour un fou. <laughs> Pause here. Wow. Um, ah, the the music and the orchestration is so well composed. It really sets this tone that something is coming. Something is about to happen. You don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But something disruptive seems like it's going to happen. And that disruption can be something loud. It can even be something quiet. But it kind of feels like it's gearing towards that feeling. And I really got that anxious feeling from from both the orchestra and the choir. Um, so specifically, all of the layers of everything going on. So at the very beginning, you heard that dun dun in the strings. Did you hear how like that took me off guard? Those notes, those chords were very disrupted and very stark, right? And then that was immediately followed by uh, the strings, I think it was violence, I don't know if it was violas too, don't hate me, but it was the strings going they were doing these really fast disconnected notes and you can see that they were disconnected in the lift of their bow while they were playing it. And then layered on top of that was the choir who was giving these slightly longer but still staccati uh, words. Uh, long pause. Uh, Long pause, eh, right? Very disconnected. So you've got the stark and disconnected dun dun with the disconnected and the disconnected phrases from the choir. And all of that is layered together. And underneath that, you have this, uh, this bass line with the cellos holding these long notes. We call that pedal notes. Just when they play one note and they let it sustain while chords are changing above them. So you had all of these layering effects of disconnectedness with the very long held out notes in the bass line. And all of this to me seems to be foreshadowing that some disruptive sound or event may come. Uh, so let's let's rewind a little bit and see if something comes in, whether it's his sound or another sound of an instrument, comes in and changes the atmosphere. <laughs> Mr. Johnny Halliday, watch, he's some huge figure I should know about. I know you guys. Um, I've never heard his voice, but I'm I'm living for the the intensity in his overall tone. He's got a nice grit and a nice rasp that's really, really nice to hear. And I don't know if he's facing the audience right now because we we haven't gotten a wide a wide shot, but it kind of seems like he's not, which is actually really nice to see because he's really 
he's really creating a setting. He's really setting a scene. And from the words that I'm seeing, it sounds like a script almost. But he's he's got this intensity on his face and he's really um, moving around, which is kind of creating a zone for him and his character, which is brilliant to see. Um, it almost it almost seems like a movie. Forgive me if this is part of a movie. I'm not sure, but it's really, really nicely laid out. And he's doing a fantastic job at just creating a character right now. Okay, whoa. Um, okay, I remember in my Dimash video, he's saying this one phrase with a crazy amount of chess voice, or a crazy mixed voice, bringing up some chess voice. <laughs> and I remember commenting saying, okay, to hit that note, you've just got to have an effort mentality and just go for it. Um, you all, her entire voice is an effort mentality. Just go for it. She's got this yell factor in her mid and upper range, and she's bringing a good amount of chest voice in that in that range. And of course, there's technique behind it too. Um, but but the amount of chest voice she's bringing up, you know, and it isn't even necessarily the chest voice uh, as the main factor. It's really the intensity that she is constantly giving in that range, in all of her ranges. She's giving a good amount of, of intensity in her tone. And with all of these characteristics, with that yell factor and the chest voice and the intensity, it's really creating a vocally vulnerable moment. Something where you've just gotta have a good foundation with your technique and just say, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. And this is the sound that's going to come out. It's crazy that that is her, her natural voice and that is a voice that is is sounding uh, very comfortable to her <laughs> pause right before a big note I'll rewind uh, promise um okay I love the connection that they have right now I'm gonna give them props for their dedication on just giving this what seems to be like a love story um, it's it's a sensual vibe and I'm really interested in the storytelling um, you all the French language is so singer friendly it's not even funny and I'm mainly talking to my classical singers right now I don't know much about uh, French pop to comment on that, but uh, the French language, the hardest thing to figure out is what vowel to use. But once you've got that down, the language has this beautiful fluidity within it. It's this beautiful flow. And I'm saying that because I really am loving the vowel to vowel flow that I'm getting from both Miss Fabian and Mr. Halliday. It's it's beautiful. Um, Next, uh, don't forget, what was it? Um, oh, the, the juxtaposition between their two voices. Their, their voices are, are very different and I'm loving, I'm loving hearing the two differences in their voices either at the same time or one right after the other. So with, with Miss Fabian's voice, you've got this straight tone. She's giving us these huge notes with a lot of straight tone. 
And then from Mr. Halliday, you've got this greediness and this rasp, and he's giving us some vibrato too. And hearing those two different tones uh, w going with each other or one right after another is is um, r uh, ear candy. It's really nice to hear because essentially it's it's really two singers expressing passion in two technically different ways. So uh, really, really nice. <laughs> That was probably one of my favorite <laughs> notes so far. What was crazy, oh my god, what was crazy was the transition into that note. Because right before that, ah, ah, is that the, I don't know. But right before that note, she was giving us these these uh, really, really intense and heavy chest voice uh, notes. And then with no breath and literally no time, she just flipped up into that into that really beautiful note and she gave it some depth by adding roundness to the sound and and bringing up some of that chest voice y'all it was so good i gotta re-listen <laughs> shout out to Mr. JC for recommending this video. He uh, recommended that I do this video months and months ago and I know I'm just getting to it now but I'm so glad that I did. I've gotten a lot of requests too for um, Miss Laura Fabian singing, uh, is it Je, Je Suis Malade? Something like that, um, which I will, I will get to and I'm really looking forward to hearing 
uh, what else she is going to bring to the table. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and comment down below if you know if this is from a movie uh, or if there's a full script, I would love to know. Also turn on those notifications so you know every time I put up a video on YouTube. And another small note, I just started a Patreon page. My Patreon is patreon.com forward slash soprano notes and I would love to have you as my patron. I've got some really exciting things planned for the year 2021 and that includes raffles, mini concerts, the chance to vote for a specific performance analysis video from me. You can submit yourself singing and I will analyze you and give you an in-depth analysis of your voice and so so much more. So if you're interested in that, I will have the link down in the description box below. I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you soon. Bye.